come here, come here. Let me let me ask y'all something. Where y'all been, huh? Where y'all been? I'm just playing. It really was us that was missing. And I want to tell y'all what we've been up to, finally. Because I'm not sure if you remember, but a while back, I told y'all that... Carla! I hope they can only see your silhouette. <laughs> I'm not sure if y'all know, but a while back, I told y'all that we were planning something. And it's like we're preparing for a big transition in our life. Um, again, y'all probably been noticed I've been kind of hinting to it, so I haven't been able to give you any details yet because we're working on it. <laughs> and it's a lot of hard work. And later in the show, I want to show y'all what we have planned. But this is what happened last week. Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Um, so we're on a new day. We actually just leaving the gym. We had a nice late night workout. It's almost 11 o'clock. And, um... Something has given us the shits. <laughs> I mean the real shits. I think it's the teriyaki sauce. And I have lost interest in eating any of the food, except for the pancake muffins, may I say. I love mm. those. <laughs> but it's between the teriyaki sauce and that um, spaghetti, squash. spaghetti squash. It's not the spaghetti squash. So you think it's that teriyaki sauce? I'm telling you, it's the teriyaki. So... Uh, with that being said, and then it's like, I'm tired of eating it. Like, I'm craving, like, a burrito or something, you I'm know? I'm not. I'm fine with eating it. Like, even though my stomach was messed up two days ago, it hasn't, it wasn't as bad today. So, it's like, I'm enjoying my chicken teriyaki. It's rough, y'all. And I'm enjoying my spaghetti squash. Yesterday, I couldn't even eat all my food. You know, the day before that, I said it felt like it wasn't enough food. Now, it's like I can't even finish all of it. I got a big bowl of spaghetti. I'm not even a big pasta fan, you know. And then I got all that rice and that uh, tofu. I'm tired of eating it. Maybe your stomach's shrinking. Because I didn't finish all mine either. Yeah, maybe. I got food. Maybe. But yeah, waking up to, like, when I was laying in the bed and... This is a TMI alert, but when I was laying in the bed, you know, I had a little gas, and right, I was about to let it out, and I was like, whoa, this feels a little different. Girl, I went and sat on that toilet, and I let out that same fart that I saved for later, and shit came out. I thought, I'm glad <laughs> she ain't short in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't either, but something is giving us the shits. But you know some, you put it in the middle of the morning, and that poop was funky. I said, she got a shit. I had to open the door up and out the room. <laughs> so, that was awesome. So, somebody in Walgreens, they went to the back of the aisle. They didn't know that we were back there. And he, let out, the he let out the biggest fart ever. And I thought it was And Carla looked at me. She, she looked at me. She, she said, get away from me. I'm stooped down on the aisle trying to look at something. She's standing this close. I'm like, what's that you? <laughs> she said, get away from me. That's what you said. I sure and I had to say that was not me. So check this out, y'all. That's him right there. Right there, y'all. I got him on candy camera. He tried to fart and run. I got him on camera. <laughs> Yeah, this is where you get messed up, walking past all this stuff late at night. I'll tell you, I'm craving a burrito, and this stuff is looking kind of good right now, y'all. Help me, help me, help Good morning, beautiful people. So, get up to the next day. And I didn't eat the spaghetti squash, nor did I eat the teriyaki. And I still woke up with the shits, but one thing I can say is that it wasn't as bad as it was yesterday. So, I don't know what's giving me the shits. 
Okay, y'all. So now it's time to make the big announcement. Polly, you want to come back here with me? Yeah, She coming, y'all. She finally got. She finally got on some clothes, y'all. Oh, so how have we been doing with the no junk food challenge? Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I guess it's okay. Yeah, I mean, we haven't smashed bags of chips and stuff. If you're wondering, one yeah. thing we haven't did, we haven't went to the gym. Well, that's just this week because we've been dealing with this stuff. But then again, it's the no junk food challenge, and I have to go to the gym every damn day challenge. Yeah, I just told Nick what I thought was, I was like, I thought not having junk food was, like, really going to help us, like, lose weight, right? So, Carla says she want to cut out bread and my tortillas that I was making my burritos with. She just trying to cut everything That's out, how she just cut me off again, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm sure they pretty much probably wondering, like, what the hell we got out here. So hey. let, me, let me go ahead and show y'all. Bam. <laughs> We've been working really hard to get this, y'all. Y'all have no idea. We planned it out in January. Oh, can you go get my keys? We planned it out in January. I guess we can get them a, a quick tour of it, right? We planned this move out in January. It's crazy how it happened because... Uh, we were sitting down, just trying to think about what we wanted to do next. And Carla was just saying that she was like, why don't we just get like a camp or a RV or something and just live on the road full time? And I was like, what? That's so crazy because I've been thinking about, I thought about something like that in my life. And um, ever since then, we planned it out. So we're planning out shows um for performances as well as just living free on the road full time this is indefinitely so we don't have and that's why i got the truck just in case y'all were wondering like why the hell what happened to her little white and red uh car why does she have a truck now and that's why so we could pull this thing we actually went up to uh where we go tennessee we went up to tennessee this amazing will he was a nice guy I'll tell y'all a little bit of that later. Anyways, here it is right here. This is our new home that we got. Okay. This is... Can you shut the screen door? Yeah. I love this skylight up here too. But this is the... Um, our queen size bedroom. We actually can shut the curtain. So we have some privacy. Um, we have... Our closets. And that's why we got rid of a lot of our clothes. Um, a lot of our stuff we're preparing for a minimalist lifestyle and we're going to travel all over here's the kitchen let me show them the kitchen this is where you sit at this couch right here it turns into a bed <laughs> um this is the sink you got this for a little extra counter space you let up the window da -da -da. here's the stove got three burners here the oven I think I already told y'all this, but yeah, this turns into a bed. We also have a bunk bed. This right here is a full size, and this right here is twin. Uh, we have a nice size refrigerator. It works. That's why the water's in there, because I had to test it out, make sure we were able to have some cool food. A lot of storage space in here. Got storage under there, under there, under the bed, um, under this thing. We also have our microwave. Yeah. And our cabinets. Uh, plenty of cabinet space. Yeah. And we have a full bathroom. Where we have our commode. We have our tub. Showers, all that good stuff. Mirror and sink. Wash your hands. And we are preparing to uh, for a big transition. We're leaving everything behind. We're getting rid of the house. Um... Carla, she's going to leave her car parked here. And, yeah, that's where the action going to happen. <laughs> we got a nice screen door. And we got um, a little thing up here. It's called awning. You can let that down. Um, and, yes, God is truly good. Good things happen to good people. When you focus on what it is that you want and you work towards it, law of attraction, that's why it's considered a law. You attract what it is that you want um, and what you are. You have to believe that you already have it. We worked hard. It's here. 
and we will be hitting the road soon. I'll give you more details on that, especially if you want to host like a, a private concert or something like that. Um, just hit me up on the description. My contact information is in the description. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to see a lot of y'all faces and make a lot of new friends. But ultimately, we're going to live life for a living and we're going to be free.